as I said, since this is a prototype, it's not uh, as it looks today, but the principle is the same. In the tank you have a number of these rounds for the gun and in the rear part of the turret up here there is a small room where well, 15 of these are uh, located and there is a door between the loader and that ammunition compartment so if this tank gets a hit into the ammunition. The ammunition will explode, but it will explode out on the outside and not into the tank, protecting the crew from the explosion. So this is something that modern Western tank has adopted. In this tank, the ammunition storage up there is not as big as the, on the American M1 tank which has all the ammunition in the rear part of the turret. In the Leopard 2 there is also a storage bin down in the chassis where you have some more ammunition and depending on how you're going to use them you can of course leave that part of the ammunition storage empty and only keep it up in the turret that will make the tank a lot safer to be inside and if you have seen pictures from Ukraine today with the, the Russian tanks they use on both sides if they get a hit the ammunition storage in the bottom of the tank will explode and the turret will go to the moon and the crew with it so this is a lot safer tank to operate these rounds they are about 20-25 kilos and they are different types. This is the armored piercing fin stabilized round that used against other tanks but there are also another type with more high explosive used for uh, soft skin vehicles or uh, soldiers. Uh, so you have two different kinds of ammunition in the tank and when loading you remove this out from the compartment up there and the turret swing it around and push it into the into the gun and since you do this the same well you stand in the same position it's uh, quite fast uh, even if it's a hand loaded system and while loading the gun is fixed in this position so you have a loading position normally the gun goes up and down since it's stabilized but when you are loading the gun it stays like this the gun sight is still on the target but the barrel is still so the loader can do his job without being afraid of, of getting in the way of, of the gun and then when he pushes the loading button it goes down to stabilization again. On the turret side on both sides there are smoke grenade launchers that you can use to protect yourself while reversing into another area and with the modern ammunition you have in those smoke launchers you can also protect yourself against modern infrared sights that otherwise would be able to look through the smoke.